good afternoon. It's the uh, first weekend in August and it's the Kath and Anna show. It's our third, third vlog Ooh, on our new channel. So today we're going to do just a brief outline about dating. That's it. Some do's, some don'ts, some recommended sites by the Telegraph, some we've found for curious and um, unusual sites <laughs> if you've got a, a hobby um, or something you want to uh, meet up with my like-minded people slightly unique a few of them so mm -hmm. wait for that to come up um there's so many sites out there so many different places to look some that will cost you nothing so they're free and that's free all through that's getting mm. emails and getting in touch to ones that are going to cost that we've looked at that will cost you thousands so it just depends on where you want to pitch yourself that's it we're not recommending any these are just some of our observations and some of the sites we've come across while we've been googling online so this is kind of online dating and there are lots of other ways you can meet potential um friends for relationships or more Ooh, it just depends what you're after and that's your starting point and that will help you decide on what site you're going to want to choose so if you're just wanting friendship mm -hmm. someone to go out for drinks with a dinner type buddy theater buddy more of a companion type there are many sites for that if you're then mm -hmm. going to look for a a deeper meaningful relationship because it's going to start every relationship starts somewhere so if you're going to start with a relationship mm -hmm. there's plenty of sites out there yeah. and then if you want to get a little more serious there are sites for marriage and permanent relationships it just depends what you want so you've got to have a little uh, little think and map down what you'd like right from the start yep so that's the starting point and then Every dating site will be a similar type of setup, what they're going to want from you. So it's all about you at this point, which we all like to mm, have a little bit. All about <laughs> us, all about you. So it's all about you. You've got to put on there a little synopsis about you, you tell people. But you've got to remember, you know, what's when you choose a book or look at a title or look at something to read, you want it to be a little bit exciting. So that's the hardest bit because not everybody is a seller. Mm, not everybody sells it, yeah. them. We're yeah. no good at selling well, ourselves. It's not. not something humans do very well. Some people are expert at it, mm -hmm. but then, you know, you're going to have to have a go. But so you've got to, every site is saying you'll have to write a little bit about you, you'll have to take pictures. You will. <laughs> <laughs> and it could be a selfie, you could get somebody to take it for you, you could put it on timer. It just depends again how sec, 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 tech, <laughs> tech, tech you are, and there's lots of apps out there to help. Um, some that will change your background, <laughs> depending <laughs> if you don't want to be the background in your mm -hmm. kitchen. But we're going to go into a big detail on about photos and taking pictures, and we're going to do some examples, yeah. but in another vlog later on because it's the one where you've got the ironing board and the washing pile in the That's background it. and the uh, standard lamp growing out of your head yeah. yeah all those kind of things you don't want to do and they, so they're going to ask you oh you know they, you're going to have to write about you you're going to do some photos you're going to do likes dislikes mm -hmm. it's important to write what you'd like and things that you can't not live with so say this is only examples you're vegetarian you might not want to meet up with a meat eater that might be your thing that you can't deal with. There's always going to be something. Oh, there is. You might be allergic to pets. Yes, so somebody's got a big mm. Afghan hound. <laughs> <laughs> might not be your thing. You might like tall people, shorter mm. people. Mm. You might like somebody who can speak certain languages. So you've got to be really quite specific on what, what, you, what you want. Two or three things that everybody's going to have mm -hmm. that you would have to say no to or say yeah. yes to. That's right. And then the other one is um, travel distance. Mm -hmm. you know, do you want somebody local? Do you want somebody um, in the area you might be working? Or do you want somebody in a different country? That's, there's even sites for long distance relationships. <laughs> 
It just depends what you want. So it sounds like an awful lot of work before you've even started at this mm -hmm. point, but um, anything like this, you've got to look at it as a job prospect. So you've got mm -hmm. to actually put all the work in at this end, and then obviously when you get onto your, you put your profile up there, you've done the big chunk of mm -hmm. the hard work. Then comes the fun bit of who you want to sort of talk with. Mm -hmm. But here's a few of the dating sites <laughs> that we've actually come up with. Uh, well, we didn't. We put in um, the sort of recommended sites, the top 10 sites. We've only put five on a list and you'll be, mm -hmm. we'll put them out so you can see them and we'll put them in some information so you can go and have a look. These are recommended by The Telegraph. These are only ideas. These are mm -hmm. not our recommendations. We've had a quick trawl through, but mm -hmm. without joining, we couldn't tell you a lot more. So the first one they put on there was something called eHarmony. We're, between us, we've no knowledge of these, yeah. to be fair. You might have seen the adverts on TV because mm. they have been quite um, good at advertising in the past. So that might be a good mm. recommendation in itself if they're on TV and they're mm. advertising. And then there was Match.com. I've seen those in magazines. Mm. And those they're saying is for any age. And I know age shouldn't really, you know, there's, it depends on what you're after again. And then there's obviously um, sites for elite singles, which are which is a site for over forties, silver singles for for people over fifty, and I'm sure there's lots of other sites for various age groups. You know, so it, you don't have to be stuck because you're a specific age. And then they've got they recommended their own site, which is a Telegraph's own dating <laughs> site. But there are lots and lots of newspaper recommended one. I've actually got a friend who went on the Guardian website i think it's called encounters and she was newly um on her own newly mm -hmm. solo girly and she ended up with lots and lots of lovely um dates to go on through this site and that was through the guardian so there are lots and lots of sites mm -hmm. to go out but she did pay for that one um i don't i mean personally if i was going to be doing this again put my hypothetical head on i would like to think by paying a little bit does that actually It'd be interesting to hear your views? Put them in the comments. Do you feel by paying some money to mm -hmm. join a site makes actually a difference to who you're likely to meet? What do you think? Like, quite possibly, because you're making a commitment. You know, yeah. um, you're actually putting some money into finding somebody to date. But that's putting money into the site, not actually paying a person. Because we have come across some sites where you, you pay to arrange dates which mm. isn't for everybody. <laughs> so you've got to be very careful on what you're choosing mm. and looking at. Maybe you start um, as a, a one they've recommended on the Telegraph or one that you've seen on the TV and start somewhere like that. And then you can mm. always broaden your horizons. Singles, if you're, in, if you're a horse lover mm. and that's your passion, where are you going to meet people who enjoy your passion? You know, your weekends are taken up. Mm off doing events or riding or whatever it may be and to do with the horse lovers. I thought that was an, an absolutely brilliant one. Mm. <laughs> and must love pets. <laughs> there is actually a site for people that must love pets because as we said, it's not everybody's passion. And if you want a pet lover, that might be a site for you. Yeah, if you're a, a big cat lover or a dog lover and you spend your weekends mm. and the dogs or the cats or the budges or what, Ever it makes snakes, mm. snakes. we found reptiles. as well, reptiles. Mm. So that could be interesting. One I would quite like, um, and I'm sure Catherine's the same, is it's called At Like Wise, which I thought was an unusual title, mm. but it's to do with books, book love. If you're any type of books, if you're into books and you're into mm. reading, um, there's a site for that, which I. <laughs> there's a site for everything. There is, there's a site for everything. Catherine liked this next one. Farmers only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you um, enjoy farming, you like to get out there, then perhaps that's one for you. And you want to be a, a have a relationship with a farming person, because you've got to mm. remember that farmers live a very, I would think, quite an insular life, mm. you know, and it's a small community they're in. How are they going to find relationships, friends, people to go mm. out with? So there is farmers only. And then the last one we came we found was veggie day. <laughs> so obviously there's a lot of people now who food is a very, very big important part of their life. And uh, if you're uh, 
thing is veg vegetarian, vegan, anything of that sort of thing, then you want to find like-minded mm -hmm. people. Um, it does what it says on the tin or the plant. That's it. Been <laughs> <laughs> Veggie dates for you. So just one of a few. Mm. And then we've got what we would consider, and you might have more, so please put them in the comments because I'm sure everybody would mm -hmm. like to hear more from your perspective. Do's and don'ts. <laughs> of what you should do. Uh, and it's all about being safe. It is being safe, yes. Yeah. So we'll start with the do's because they're the nice they are. pile. And that was, uh, we started with taking pictures. Yeah. For your, for your profile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for your profile. So they want to see nice a pictures. nice smiley face. Okay, you might not have to smile too much, but we don't want the passport one, do we? We don't. No, we don't want, as we said, the lampshades coming out of your head, um, appliances in the background. You want a nice, jolly photo. Yep, and do write what you're wanting. You know, possibilities are endless, but your immediate thing is to what you want. But your, you might end, want to end up with something a little different. But for now, put what you're actually wanting. And a great tip, actually, Catherine came up with a site, another site we were going to add, and we didn't put it on that list, but we will. Uh, again, no recommendations. We've only heard about it, but it was by the property developer, Gurley. Sarah Beanie. Oh, um, my, my single, my single friend. Dot com. <laughs> and so your friend, do your friend yeah, write? Your friend writes the profile for you. <laughs> Would that work for you? You've obviously got to agree it. But <laughs> they're writing from their perspective because, as we said, sometimes you're not good at writing about yourself. So if you've got good friends that can write a profile and. Tell people about the good things about you. Maybe that's the way forward. Or even they could write a little section in this in the um, dating site you want to be on and ask them right to just write. This is what my friend says about me. That's it. And that might be so. That's a good a good do to do. Um, now one of the things we do say after a few mails, you've gone back and forth with this person. Do talk to them on the phone. That's it. Before you meet, have a chat. Either a phone chat, a video chat. Definitely a video chat. Mm. Phone chat, more or less straight away, two or three emails back mm -hmm. and forth in. Yeah. Because actually, a voice you might not like. Mm. You might not like how, she, how they talk. Mm. You might. It's a very personal thing, isn't it? it is. And if you're going to talk to somebody on a phone, you've got an idea mm -hmm. straight away whether you. I know it's a little bit difficult and you might be shy, but you've mm -hmm. got to talk to them at some point. Yeah. You can't go dating on your own. <laughs> you can't do dating on your own. This is true. <laughs> it's not yeah. dating. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta got be brave. Gotta be brave. So you do um, a phone chat absolutely in the first few mails. Mm -hmm. And then before you meet, you do a video. It's a FaceTime. It's a Skype. You can be in, a, in your apartment. You can be wherever you're going to be um, mm -hmm. and have just a little brief chat. Hi, it's me. Just so, uh, you know give you an idea of what I look like so when we meet I'm not having to hold a rose and uh, <laughs> a newspaper or an umbrella um, and so we've got some idea mm -hmm. of, um, of that meeting. and the don'ts mm. say so don't do any meets without a chat and a video chat that's right and when you do go meet make sure it's somewhere public somewhere that's quite busy um, mm. don't meet somewhere it's isolated where you might feel vulnerable and do tell somebody mm -hmm. tell a friend that you're going off to meet fred who you've met on this dating site this is where you're going to meet him at and you'll let them know mm -hmm. when you've left so you've got to have a bit of safety all mm -hmm. about you and a few things you don't discuss too much detail don't give away too much at the moment yeah, you want to save some exciting stuff for another chit chat. You might want to have another date with them and you don't want to tell it all in one go. <laughs> Just eke it out because you want to find out about them yeah. as much as you. So only give them little bits of information and that includes don't tell them where you live for now. The mm -hmm. area, you live in an apartment, that's about it. They don't need to know your mm -hmm. house number um, and, and a very big one. And say, don't tell them about your financial situation. <laughs> don't tell them you're a lottery winner. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the time yet. <laughs> a little bit down the line, maybe. Yeah. 
but not for now. But yeah, and the mm -hmm. very big one that seems to be a lot going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Do not send any money. No. That's just a very brief outline. It is. Yeah, so uh, hopefully we will be doing some more vlogs about various aspects. Of, oh, do you know my... It's the coffee. coffee. It's the coffee. Well, it's I can't the... get my words out. Well, we have had a night out, which is mm. the first we've had for several it months. Is. And we went out for dinner um, last night and we've been out for breakfast. So we're... Um, and we had a bottle of bubbly as well mm. last night. So, um, yes. Yeah. So, so more, uh, to, more to come. More to come. So... To have a little read, look at the sites we've mentioned, please add in the mm -hmm. comments, please press subscribe, please press notifications, add a comment and tell us all about your ideas and your thoughts, it's all for everybody on here is going to be looking and good luck with dating. Yeah, we'll look forward to hearing more from you. Bye for now. <laughs> bye bye.